I'm Madeline Harvey, and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We're gonna be doing a quick, quick warm up specific to mixed voice. So, by the end of today's video, you'll have a little bit more accessibility to what exactly the mix is, and you'll be feeling that you can operate through your transitions with a lot more smoothness and consistency. So, if you liked today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I would love to see you here more often. So a couple of things I just wanna get, get right out there, right out at the top of the lesson. Number one is this is Mabel. She's my puppy. You might hear her snoring from time to time in today's video. It's okay, because she's really cute. Number two, mix. Let's clarify exactly, just exactly what mixing is. And I'm gonna use big bold statement like, Mix is talking. We already talk with an ever-changing ratio of resonances. Now that was fancy. So what exactly did I mean? Well, when we speak, as I'm speaking to you now, can you hear the influence of my nose over my speaking voice? That yes, in fact, it's included acoustically in my speech, yes. Yes, you can definitely hear that. Now, if I continue to talk, can you also hear the presence of my mouth as I talk with you now in the presence of my speaking voice? It is included in it as well. Yes, 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 yes. We use mix all day, every day, simply because we speak in a combination of resonances. However, it gets very difficult once we begin singing because everything becomes exaggerated when we sing. Everything gets amplified and exaggerated, extended, becomes more of what it is. And if we don't know how to guide that process, pressure can build and the next thing you know, we're kind of screaming. Or we flipped and released all of our, all of our pressure and now it's like a heady sound, which is also what we don't want. So we're gonna use some consonants, but I would like for you to repeat after me because I really want this to be the reference place, the point of reference for what this is going to be today. So repeat after me. Singing equals sexy talking. <laughs> Singing equals sexy talking. Now, you don't have to use the word sexy if you don't want to. But what I mean by that is all singing is, is stylized speech. And we're gonna bring this home for you right now. When we talk, our emphasis is on, again, what we're saying. We are communicating. And because our intent is to communicate our thoughts and our feelings so authentically and articulately, we tend to use energy and pressure and rhythm and inflection and all these other elements we don't have to get lost in today. We're going to feel that we use language to help us. When we sing, it gets a little tricky because we become aware of that process. So let's use it to our benefit, shall we? Let us say, the word yes, but we're gonna say it slow, like yes. And as we do, just kind of check in, just observe, but don't control. Observe what kind of ride that sound makes as it moves throughout your head space. Here we go, ready? Yes, wonderful. Could you feel that that Y had the back of your tongue lifted as to guide the air up into your nose on the Y, and then as soon as you said eh, the back of the tongue lowered, and as it did, it included more mouth space. If you didn't notice that, that's okay. Let's notice it now, okay? Ready? Yes. Good. We are using a combination of resonances, but we're using our consonant and our word to give us something to work with. Now, let's shift from yes to the word yikes. 
There's quite a lot of yummy sounds in that one word that we can really coax. So again, we're gonna say it slow. Ready? Here we go. Yikes. Let's try it together. Here we go. Yikes. Wonderful. Now the point of today's video is to do this consciously, to use your consonants and your vowels as a means to guide the air into those combination of resonating spaces until it feels like singing equals sexy talking. Yes? Very good. Now let's go into the word yuck, like yuck. And we'll see that on the word yuck, it goes on quite a different ride than it did on the word yikes. We go yuck. Yuck. Good. Very good. Now let's go from yikes to yuck. Yikes. Yuck. Very, very, very different. Plays out differently, doesn't it? Words matter. Words matter. So we're going to begin our exercise. And this is the beginning of our warm up today, starting with the word yikes, partly because we do want to instill that we are simply talking. We're using the language to help guide the spaces and the combination of those spaces. As we go up, because we're going up, we're going to need to prefer the nose as we do so. So we're going with a slightly brighter vowel. I is a very bright vowel and it's gonna help guide us up into that nose space. So our exercise is this. We're just gonna nice, we're gonna slide, but it is gonna be slow. Yikes. Again, it's like gum that you wanna chew all the flavor out by the time you get to the F. You wanna see what kind of shapes you can change and move as you go through that slide. Let's try that one more time together. in a slippery part of the range right now. So if you need to go into a slightly more baby voice to give you a little bit more assistance going up, by all means, I'll demonstrate what that sounds like. Let's try that A flat again. Yikes. It will give you a little bit more to hang on to in the nose. Let's continue. Right indeed.
Very good. Now again, extremely bright because we are going up towards the nose. We would need that broadness because it helps focus our sound as we go up without creating any collapse in the nose, not in the nose, in the throat. Yes. So now we're going to switch a room and we're going to balance it out going down. So we went yikes going up. We're going to go yuck going down. Now, again, I really want to emphasize that this is, this is a teaching space. If you need to make a crazy baby sound, do not be scared to do so. You can always back off later once you've built a little bit more of a frame of reference. So going up, it was yikes. Now going down, it will be like yeah, which may also soften into a yaw, but it helps us balance the difference between broad vowels and dark, deep vowels. That way we can retain balance. So one more time for your ear and then we'll try it together. Ready? Here we go together. to help guide your mouth space as you descend. Let's try that one more time together. good. So let this be a nice introduction into how to use language as your ally, how to use it as a tool to give you what you need to help you blend registration. I hope this has been a wonderful exercise for you. Feel free to come back to it as often as you'd like to get those, those resonators and those articulators nice and blended because it is my full intention for you that you feel your voice is as accessible to you as talking, but feels like it's got a little bit of something stylized and special and romantic about it. In that way, it feels like singing equals sexy talking, just sexy talking, just sassy, sexy talking. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click the subscribe button below. I love y'all and I would love to see you here as often as possible. Thank you so much for including me in your vocal journey and I will see you again and I will see you again next time.
Bye.